It's no secret that towns across Western Canada are changing. From evolving industries, aging and migrating populations, to thinning job opportunities, living in rural Canada is starting to change, and fast. But odds are, you already know this, and you're not alone. In fact, by watching our Hometown Advantage series, you're joining a network of community leaders, entrepreneurs and decision makers from across Western Canada who want to see rural Canada thrive and ensure that rural Canadians have a plan for when that change comes. And we want to help. If I said that your town's Main Street Diner is among Canada's most important businesses, would you believe me? Well, it is. And it's not just because of the endless coffee refills or those slices of pie, either. We hear your skepticism. And also something rumbling, hmm? Well, write yourself a reminder to get some pie later and put your doubts aside for a moment. Hear us out. Like your town's local diner, hardware, store, and grocer, small-sized businesses are the biggest employers in Canada, employing 69.7% of private sector workers. Medium-sized businesses, which could be wholesalers that provide resources to your town's stores, employ 19.9%, leaving large-sized businesses to employ 10.4%. You could say small and medium-sized businesses, or SMBs, make up a big piece of Canada's economic pie. But that pie is changing, and soon. In the next four years, 41% of SMB owners will retire, and less than 10 have a business succession plan for when that day comes. Without a proper succession plan, businesses like your town's diner may see a decline in service quality during a transition, an unsatisfactory buyout from a third party, or worse. One in five businesses are expected to close their doors for good. And losing these businesses can leave rural towns without the services they need to survive. But business transitions aren't the only way towns are changing. Many communities now struggle with attracting new families or finding entrepreneurs or investors. These issues need to be dealt with to make rural sustainable. And we think that Main Street businesses, ones just like your diner, play an essential role in tackling these tough changes. The good news is that rural Canadians are resilient. Our team at Cooperatives First believes that with the proper planning, dedication and know-how, rural Canada will face these changes head on and come out ahead. It's what rural Canadians do. We are passionate about business development in rural and Indigenous communities across Western Canada. With this passion and years of experience, our goal is to help community leaders like you keep your businesses going, improve your local economies, and develop your home in the ways that make sense to you. We believe that cooperatives have a place along your main street, because at their core, Co-ops are made up of passionate community members who believe in where they are from and want to see their home thrive. That's what rural sustainability is. We may be biased, but we think co-ops are different and a sometimes better way of doing business. In our Hometown Advantage series, we will talk about what to do when a core business shuts down, how to keep wealth in your town, how cooperative businesses can be market competitive and long living, and how to attract new folks, all while promoting your vision of your home's future. Because we know that you don't have to look far for these solutions. You already have them in your community. Can we take a break for pie? That'd be great. <laughs> <laughs>